So the ultimate birthday cup is here. We're going to show you what rewards you get for playing and how to win with the best team you could possibly have. And on top of that, the best tactics you can use. Now for finishing the whole thing, you get an 85 times 3. There is an 83 times 10, an 86 times 2, and 84 times 5 for winning everything. Of course, we've got plays on top of that. So let's get into the actual cup and see what we need. So as you head into play online or play friendlies, you can see you've got 10 matches every single day. So you can do this in one day if you're lucky. You can only have a squad with an overall max 88, and you can have no 89s or higher. So at the moment, I've got my Saliba that's an SBC. So the cards that I'm going to be showing you today are ones that you would have got for free from objectives, ones you could buy from, for example, off the market. Now my game's bugged for a second. Time to upgrade your team. Head over to lootbar.gg. Best and most reliable place to buy coins. Don't forget to use code NANIC for 8% off on all your orders. Once they have made their way through, the coins will be delivered within the next 24 hours and you will be ready to improve any of your team. Like I said, the link will be down in the description and the comment section. Use code NANIC for 8% off and improve your team today. So, fix the game now, we can have a look at players. So we are looking for 88 or lower. Now, goalkeepers generally depends what you have in your team. So go with your normal standard goalkeeper. So if we make our way over to the keeper, like I say, goalkeepers are a difficult one because it depends. Now, a lot of you should have the do deck. You should have a Pope at this point now. But what you're trying to do is build chemistry. So let's use 85 Martinez just in case you don't have either of those players. Now, with right back, of course, we have Bellerin who's not usable. So we're going to have to go to the next page. And in terms of right backs that are for free, we have got this Collins that you can get from the objective. You got this Joe Gomez as well that came from the crafting upgrade. So we are going to go ahead and stick Joe Gomez at right back. Reason being is he's free from the crafting upgrade video. Now, centre back. Again, depends what you have in your club. We are going to use ones that we got for free. So, for example, we have got ourselves a list of players here. And I may miss a few, so let me know in the comment section. But Collins is a fantastic shout. And of course, we have got this Yoshida from the SBC. If he's still available, go get him. I'm not entirely sure he is. I'm pretty sure he's still there and he's very cheap. So Yoshida is also a fantastic shout. Moving over to left back, we are going to be having a look here. Now, we've got ourselves the Loddy card. If you did that SBC that came out at the start, if you didn't, then don't use him. But if you did, then go ahead and pop him in. Then on top of that, we've got ourselves McKay. He came from an objective. Alaba also came from the crafting as well. And we have got a Dogi if you did that SBC and didn't Evo him. So if you've got a Dogi, go ahead and pop him in. If not, Alaba is available from the crafting. Or Gossens if you got either of them from the packs last week. On top of that, we did have a Merlin last year, uh, last season sorry, that you can pop in. So I am going to use Merlin. The same with John Arnarisa as well. So it honestly depends where you are in terms of your club. But as long as you played a little bit of the game, you should have John Arnarisa or Merlin. If you don't have either of those, Alaba is available in terms of the crafting. Now moving over to the centre mid role. Again, a lot of good players that you can't use. We can only use 88 or higher, as you know. So that already eliminates this Cullen. We can't use him, unfortunately. But we have got ourselves a few other players that are available. Now, O'Sullivan is a really good shout with Incisis and Trickster. And she came from the objective St. Patrick's Day. And Alaba is also another fantastic shout if you are not using him left back. If you are, then you need to go have a look at other players that are available. And of course, she came from the objective last season. So if you did the fantasy one, she can go in. Ruben Neves was an SBC a long, long time ago. Very, very cheap. So if you've got him, stick him in. He's probably up there was one of the best. But Bente Core is available as an SPC if you haven't done him. And he can also go in there for Alaba. Now, again, any gold will work. For example, Modric is a fantastic shout. Odin Guard, the normal gold card you can go to. Bernardo Silva Kimmich. They're all really good shouts. I'm just trying to pick the best of the best in this role. Now we are in the cam role and we are looking for 88s. Now, if you do all the base of the hero SPCs, then you're going to have yourself Francescoli. Brandt and Kubo were also from Objectives. My Cherokee is from an Evo. So if you've got an Evo that's 88 that you always use, go ahead and stick him in. Now this Cherokee is 5-star, five 5-star five with loads of good playstyles. So I will use Cherokee for myself. Of course, we have a load of base icons that can fit in. She came from the Objective as well. And then on top of that, we have extra cards. For example, Zayech is currently in PAX or was in PAX last week. So if you've got him as well. There are multiple choices. And Evos are also a really good shout if you haven't done them. But for this one, we're going to use Coop Miners, who's in Team of the Week at the moment, or was in Team of the Week last week. And if you've got higher rated, then you can go ahead and pop in any of your Evo cards, which I will do for my team. Then we have the right wing position, which is probably one of the hardest ones to do. 
88. Elise was in loads of packs last week, and his price is around 18k. I highly recommend going to get him if you haven't got him already. If not Kubo that you saw, there's a fantastic shout. Any of these heroes that you might have packed can go into it as well. The same as any SBC, St. Max. Almiron was available as an SBC. He might even still be there as well. Very cheap. And a lot of the Fire and Ice cards, if not Zayach or Ziyech, is available. That moves us over to our striker role. And as you can tell, strikers is going to be your most important one to get right. Because his job is to get the goals. So again, we've got ourselves a few Evo cards that we would have had. SBCs that came out as well. But we are going to use ones that are relevant. Now, Hoyland is available at this minute in time as an SBC. Or you've got this birthday foul cow that was last week's objective. Now, if you've done that, you're laughing because this card is going to cause you loads of problems. If not, a Bamiyang is currently in packs or was in packs last week. So you might have him. Going in a little bit lower. We've got ourselves, obviously, Philippe Anderson that was last week. Fernando Torres was an objective as well. If you didn't Evo him, you would have a very good striker. And then we've got Jota that was an objective. Broby, that's an SBC. Podolski was an objective from a couple of weeks ago. So you've got quite a few options here if you don't already. But for me, it's going to be Falcao. Then our left wing position. Again, depending on what you have in your club and what you've done. But Galena was an objective who's a fantastic shout if you've done him. Again, McCabe is available. If we go a little bit further down, we've got ourselves this woman here from the objective, Philippe Anderson. Kostic is currently in packs right now, so he's very, very cheap. And then we've got, obviously, the heroes and much more. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and use the one I got from the objective, which is Galeno. And we've got ourselves our team here. Now, if you notice, it's only 87 rated, so you can go ahead and fill your bench up. Just for me, I'm going to pop in a load of 88 rated players and explain to you why I've chosen this team. So you can see the team is 87 rated, and this is what it looks like. A complete free team that you can get from SBCs or that you would have packed. If not, like I say, for example, Elise is 20,000 coins or less. And none of these players are expensive. The only one you probably don't have is a Cherky, but you can swap that player out. And every other player you see here is either an objective or an SBC or a goalkeeper that we've bought, which is Martinez, who is about 7k. So very cheap again. In terms of tactics, you're going to make your way over to Custom Tactics. You're going to press left trigger or L2. You're going to go to Defensive. It doesn't matter which one you select, but just for me, it's Defensive. You're not going to play Defensive. You're going to have Balance, 45 Whip, 71 Depth. Balance, Build Up, Chance Creation, Direct Passing. Whip, 50. You're going to have two grey spots on players in the box. So make sure you've got that many in. Three players in corners, so three blues on corners. And two on free kicks. Now, if you find yourself being counted attack on corners and your opponent's scoring a lot... Drop that down to two. And then in terms of formation, you are playing a 4-2-3-1. And it's really important that you have your striker up front, of course. Your most attacking and effective cam in the middle. And then your two fastest wingers on left and right. And then their attack is going to be striker is going to be default getting behind, default stay forward. Right wing back is going to be, or right cam, sorry, come back on defense, get into the box for a cross, default, default. The exact same for the left cam. And then your center cam is just going to be on default, but get into the box for a cross. Your two CDMs and most defensive players that you have in your team in the midfield. Cut passing lane, stay back while attacking, cover center. The exact same for the other one. And then your left back and right back is stay back while attacking, everything else in default. And then your right back is going to be balanced. Now, whichever one's the most attacking is going to be that system. So our right back is stay back while attacking. And because Merlin has whip pass, he's going to be the more attacking one. So most defensive on the right. Most attacking on the left. And that's going to be a really nice formation for you to get the wins. Now, just so you know, this game mode is actually max chemistry. And I'm just going to double check that when we go into a game. But you get 10 games every single day. Please remember that so you don't have to go out and get the win straight away. I will skip ahead to when I get an opponent and you'll be able to see the game mode. So I've actually got it wrong. It's above my camera or below. It's actually a classic match. So chemistry is going to be important. So make sure you shuffle around and get the most chemistry. So, for example, we'll swap out a couple of players that don't have the chemistry. Make sure you have the right manager for chemistry. But these are going to be your best individual players. So, for example, I can swap that one over. And we can go ahead and pick a different centre-back to try and boost the chemistry. The more chemistry you have, the better your team is going to perform. That's always the case. So, make sure you're doing that. And if you do have any questions, do comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.